Friends, imagine you are at a magical party where everyone is dancing in perfect harmony, twirling and spinning in sync. Now picture someone accidentally turning on a giant fan causing everyone's hair and clothes to flutter wildly and suddenly the synchronized dance falls into chaos. This is a bit like what happens in quantum physics when we talk about decoherence. Quantum decoherence is a fancy term for when the neat and orderly world of quantum particles turns into a bit of a mess. Let's understand it in a simple way. In the world of the very tiny particles like electrons and photons don't behave like the solid objects we are used to. Instead, they exist in a state of superposition, which means they can be in multiple places or states at once, like being both here and there simultaneously. Think of it as if each particle is doing its own unique dance with an infinite number of moves all at once. When particles are in a superposition, they are in perfect harmony like our dancers at the beginning of the party. This harmony is called coherence. It's like all the dancers knowing the exact same moves and executing them flawlessly together. In the quantum world, this coherence allows particles to perform incredible feats like being in two places at once or passing through two doors simultaneously. But just like our party got disrupted by the fan, the quantum dance can get messed up too. This happens when particles interact with their surroundings like the air molecules, other particles or even light. These interactions are the giant fan in our analogy, causing the neat and orderly dance to turn into a chaotic scramble. This scrambling is called decoherence. Friends, in the everyday world, it's hard to keep particles isolated. They bump into other particles, exchange energy, and get influenced by their environment. Imagine trying to keep a soap bubble intact in a windstorm. It's almost impossible. Similarly, maintaining coherence in the quantum world is incredibly tricky because even the slightest disturbance can cause decoherence. One of the most famous experiments demonstrating quantum behavior is the double slit experiment. When particles like electrons are fired at a screen with two slits, they create an interference pattern on a detection screen, acting as if they went through both slits simultaneously. This is superposition at work. But if you try to observe which slit the electron goes through, the interference pattern disappears and the electrons behave like ordinary particles only going through one slit or the other. The act of observing introduces decoherence, disrupting the quantum dance. Do you know quantum computers rely on coherence to perform calculations that are impossible for classical computers. They use quantum bits or qubits which can be in superposition of states. The challenge in building these computers is keeping the qubits coherent long enough to perform complex calculations. Even tiny interactions with the environment can introduce decoherence, causing the qubits to lose their magical properties. So friends, quantum decoherence is like that giant fan at the perfect dance party, turning synchronized moves into chaos. It's the process by which quantum systems lose their unique quantum properties due to interactions with their surroundings. This concept is crucial for understanding why we don't see quantum weirdness in our everyday lives and why building stable quantum computers is so challenging. Friends, just remember, decoherence is the universe's way of reminding us that even the tiniest particles cannot escape the chaos of the world around them. Thank you for watching.